Hello guys. This is D. Tech and today we are going to install for the client in Mac OS. We are going to use Mac OS Big Sur for this demonstration. Let's begin. You have to download first the file. Open a browser and enter support.fortinet.com. Click on login and input your username and password and download the version you want. Any version of Forda client will work regardless of what firmware version of the device you are trying to connect. You can also download the file from the link description below. We are going to install version 6.4 since it is the most stable and latest release during the time of this recording. Double click on the downloaded file. Choose install and OK. Now, you have to go through the installation process. Enter your password. Now, wait for it to install the application. The installation was successful. Let's now set up the Forda client. Check on the box and click on I accept. Click on configure VPN. In this window, this is where you input all the details of your remote site. On the connection name you can enter your remote name site or any name based on your preference. For the description you can type your description or leave it blank. Remote Gateway is the public IP address of the site you are trying to remote in. You can enter the public IP or you can use the dynamic DNS. Now, if the remote port is 443 then leave it as default. But on my remote site it is configured to 10443 so I have to check the customize port and enter 10443. Click on save login so that you don't need to enter your username every time you run the application. Now, enter your username. Check on do not warn invalid server certificate to avoid the pop-up window every time you're trying to connect. Click save. Now, enter your password. Click on connect to connect to your remote site. It will now try to connect. You will encounter some errors if you misconfigured something. If you input all correct details, then you will be directly connected. In this window, you can review all the details. The remote gateway, the username, duration, bytes received and bytes sent. If you're planning to disconnect you can simply click on disconnect then you will be automatically disconnected from your remote site. Now that we're done, I will show you one thing. If you have several remote sites and if you're planning to install it on your other computer, we can back up the configuration for you to simply restore on your other device rather than inputting all those details or credentials again. To do this, click on the padlock icon on the top of the window to unlock advanced features. Enter your password. Click on the gear icon. Choose Backup. Enter the file name you want and you can select the destination and click on Save. Now, you must create a password for the backup file, 
the older version don't have this feature. Once done, click on OK. Great job! Backup file created successfully. You can see the backup file created on the desktop. Now, we will proceed to the last process. Restoring the configuration. Since we back up the configuration we will just restore it. First, we will have to delete the current one, assuming that it's a fresh install or new device. Click on the three line icon and click delete the selected connection. Click on yes to delete. Now, click on the settings or gear icon again. Click on restore and select the backup file. Click open. Enter the password you have configured during the backup process. Now, click on OK. Amazing! Configuration restored successfully. Let's test now after restoring the backup config. Click on the home icon on the top. You can see the configuration we did earlier. Enter your password and click connect. Finally, we did it. That's all for today's demonstration. I really hope you liked this video. Please check out my other videos in the links below. Please like, share and subscribe and click on the bell button for more upcoming videos. Thank you and see you in the next video.